Okay, they... Alright, I'm in a weird spot right now. But... Oh, he, did he see? Yeah. Oh, that guy tried to be sneaky camping. Yo, where the hell are you? Mario jumping at me like that. Man. Chill, you need to relax. But yeah. You could tell from the title of the video. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I can't, I can't continue my commentary. It's all spawning on me. Right now. Run, 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 run. Oh my god, the feed. Is he gonna? I'm just gonna get out of there. Um, I apologize for my mobile phone notification, but yeah, with the dogs, let's call that in. But yeah, the title of the video, as you can see, is Is Vanguard really dead? It, to be honest, it's not dead, but it is definitely declining, like bad Call of Duty games usually do. Even with crossplay, lobbies often won't backfill, and you'll often have sessions. No, 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 no. But yeah, um, you'll often have sessions where the ping search goes through the roof or just doesn't find you a match. Lobbies are dead. I hardly find any game under 30 ping. Finding anything beyond ship house takes me to 250 plus MS lobbies. Ship house is like an absolute cancer with everyone lobbying nades all the time. And it seems like even the trophy systems, they don't even work or they get exhausted as soon as they're out. Oh my god. But yeah, the only thing I like about Vanguard... Okay, as I was saying, the only thing I really like about Vanguard is that the Blitz mode, especially the playlist of the Chaos of Blitz on a lot of maps, surprisingly, is pretty good. And there's literally so much chaos. But those voting screens at the end of every game are definitely a waste of time. Are a waste of time in my opinion. To me, it's sort of like the restaurant in Goodfellas, if you watch that movie. That goes bankrupt and gets blown up for profit. I think this game gets too much hate. But at the same time, I can't deny it has issues with bugs lack of post launch content and it feels kind of abandoned by Activision. It could have been better if proper resources has been allocated to it. But so far I'm really enjoying Vanguard. I've had a lot of fun ever since I started playing three weeks ago. Mind you, I have played like eight months ago when the game came out but then I stopped for a while because I got so busy I didn't even touch the console. But yeah, I'm so hyped for Modern Warfare 2. I can't wait for it to be released. Okay. Ruthless, baby. Teammate. You got him. Oh. Oh. Yo, this I like this ice camp. It's pretty dope. But there's not that really much. There's not really camos like this in Vanguard. Because the, the other camos are the other bundles, I mean, they're like you know, really World War II themed camos. And this feels like you know, the Black Ops 2, the green camo, the alien zombie camo. That was pretty good. I think that's still one of the best camos. So, oh my god, that flank! That flank for the V2. Ooh. Okay, you saw me. Wait, what gun is this? It's like the. I didn't even notice that guy was there. But yeah. I think it's Vanguard is at that stage of its life where there's not really much going on. Even Warzone is boring to be honest. Because there's nothing else to do. There's, it's not fun anymore. Warzone has been here for how many? Three. Warzone has been here for three CODs almost I think. Modern Warfare 2019, Cold War and now Vanguard. So you can tell, even if they have a Caldera map that's been released, what, months ago? Or in the beginning of this year, basically. Call of Duty doesn't even feel like fun anymore. Until Modern Warfare 2 comes out, and then we'll be hyped.